Hey guys, this is Sunny. Welcome to my channel. As you all know that the situation outside is pretty bad and we cannot step out to get ourselves groomed. So when this lockdown started, we all just shaved it off. Uh, we didn't want to get into the hustle of actually trimming and setting up the beard. And yes, I did it too. I shaved my beard. I love it, but I did shave it. And you can see now it is back and I think I need some setting up. So I decided, okay, let me just do it. So I thought I'll do it using a Philips trimmer. Yes, this is a beard trimmer which I'll be using on my beard, setting up with a clipper and see how it works. If you take a closer look of the trimmer, you can see the setting starts from zero and it goes till 10. You can actually set up the clipper as per your length and density of the beard. This is just a switch on and off button and this is the clipper. If you see my beard, you can see it's been outgrown here, here and here. That's how I shape my beard. I make sure I create lines and boundaries so I get a perfect shape. I usually do it here, here, here and here. That's how I do it and that's how I get that perfect lines that is the first step which we do to create the lines. For that, I won't be using the clipper. I'll just use the blade and then make the markings. Once that is done, then I'll go ahead and remove the extra hair and then trim the rest of the beard wherever I see that I, I have more hair. Let's just do it. So I'll be going ahead and removing these hair and then I'll go ahead with the sides and here. One tip I would like to give you is whenever you are actually doing it here, just pull your skin down and then do it so that you do not actually, you know, cut your skin and you can only remove the hair which is there and the smallest hair will also come out. So once you do this and you make a proper shape here, when you look on the sides and give any kind of profile on your left or on your right, you will have a perfect line. That's how you ensure that you have a perfect line here and then you can of course look into the mirror and see if this is perfect or not. Now I'll go ahead and clean up this part. First I'll just do the shape and then I'll go ahead and remove the extra hair. Watch me. If you see, I have cleaned up this side and see how perfect it looks. And this side I'm yet to do. You can see we still have this extra hair which I need to remove, which I will be doing now. And then I'll show you how it looks. Now I'll do this part. I'll make sure I'll have a perfect line here and I'll make a cut here just to give more definition to my mustache and my beard. So let's just do it. So now I'll be making sure that I make a perfect shape here. For that, I'll just keep my finger to ensure I do not cut any extra hair which belongs to the beard. I'll keep my finger here to ensure I do not cut any extra hair. The line seems to be perfect. Only the extra hair. If you have like really small ones, you can actually use a scissor to cut that off. I'll separate my beard hair and my mustache hair and then just go ahead and give it a small cut. So I'll just use this comb to hold my hair like this and use the trimmer. Can you see that? Now can you see I have the perfect line here, here here, here and here. Now I need not to do anything. I just have to cut the extra hair on my moustache. Then we'll go to the beard and trim it. All I need to do is I just have to comb my moustache and see there's no extra hair. If there is, I'll just use a small pair of scissors and cut it. So now you can see I just have perfect shape on my upper lip 
Now I just have to remove a little bit density of my moustache and my beard. So I will maintain my length of the beard and just remove extra density. In between, I'll just comb and check if the length and density is perfect. If not, then I'll go ahead and do it again. So guys, you can see I have actually reduced a little bit density of my beard. It looks pretty much uh, clean now. I do not really trim this part, uh, but I'm gonna, you know, just remove the extra hair just by, you know, touching it. And then I'll go ahead with the, with the moustache. Just touching up and removing only the extra ones. It seems pretty much done. Only the moustache part is left, which I'll be doing now. Now I'll change the setting to 8 and then do it so that I, I want my beard to be a little less denser. So I'm going to change it to 8 now. So I'm actually done. I do not think I need anything else, but I think there's a small, uh, you know, strand of hair here and there. Probably I will not use a trimmer to do that. I'll pick up my I'll pick up my small scissor and just cut it off because I don't want to spoil the shape. So let me just finish, wash my face, and come back and show you how the final result is. Let me just show you a close up of my beard, how it looks. All the lines are maintained and the shape is perfect. The trim is nice, the density is as I wanted and I think this pretty much worked. So I think this lockdown has helped us to learn a lot of things such as trimming. <laughs> so I think it's a good idea to actually do it your way and learn how to maintain your own beard. Uh, it will save your money, time and uh, you know, you'll learn something new. One more thing I would like to tell you that whenever you're doing your beard, after that when you have to set it up, just use a little bit blow dry and a comb and just, you know, blow dry in the downward direction using your dryer so that once you're doing it stays and then apply your beard balm. Once you do that, trust me, you'll love your beard and it won't be like out of shape throughout the day. Hair growth is not in our control, but to maintain your beard, it's in your control. All you need is a trimmer. Also, if you need any grooming products or men's skincare, try Foxy app. They have everything which you need. All the men's essential during this lockdown, you will get it there. Try it and let me know how you find it. If you like the video, please do share, subscribe to my channel. Let me know what's your beard story in the comments. Till then, cheers.